our solar system. Our solar system. Have you ever looked up into the sky and wondered what was there? Higher than the birds, past the cloud. Have you ever looked up into the sky and wondered what was there? Sky and wondered what was there? Higher than the birds, past the clouds and farther than the moon. Higher than a bird, a bird the, past the, the clouds and farther, farther than a, the moon. A whole host of fascinating objects spin in outer space. A host, host of fascinating objects in outer space. Let's imagine for a moment that we can leave the Earth behind and explore the solar system. That Let's imagine for, the, for a moment that we can leave. leave the old behind the it and explore the solar system. Imagine for a moment that we can leave the Earth behind and explore the solar system that surrounds it. That surrounds it. We call it the solar system because everything in it is centered around the sun and solar. We call it the solar system because everything it in, in it is center, center around the sun and solar. Means something to do with the sun. Means something to do with the sun. The sun is a star, just like many of the stars that you can see in the night sky. The sun is a star, just like many of the... The sun is a star, just like many... Of the star that stars that you can see, you can in, the see night sky. in the night sky, just many times closer to us. Just many times to time closer to it. Still, the sun is very, very far, far away from the Earth. The sun, still, the sun is very, very far away from the Earth. Almost 93 million miles away. Almost three, six, ninety-three million miles away. That's why it looks so small. That's why it looks so small. Even though it's the biggest object in the solar system. Even though it's the biggest object in the solar system. In fact, the sun makes up more than 99% of the mass in the solar system. In fact, the sun make up small more than 69% of the mass in the solar system. If you put all of the planets, moons, asteroids, if you put all the planets, moons, asteroids, moons, asteroids system. If you put all of the planets, moons, asteroids, comets, and everything else in the solar system together, they would make up less than one comets and everything else in the solar system together. They would make up less than comets and everything else in the solar system together. They would make up less than one quarter of a percent of it. One quarter of the percent of it. The sun is so big that it's more than 100 times wider than the earth. The sun is so big that it's more than 100 times wider than the earth. And if it were a giant jar, you could fit more than one million Earths into it. <clears throat> um, and if it, if it were what, a giant jar, you could fit more than one million 
Earths into it. For a giant jar, you could fit more than one million Earths into it. More than that, the sun is what holds the solar system together. It more than that, the sun was holding was hold the solar system together. Its massive gravity. It's ma it's massive gravity is what keeps the Earth and all the other planets circling around it. In <clears throat> it what keeps the, the Earth and all the other planets circling around <coughs> in step of drift, drifting instead of drifting off into space off into space the <coughs> sun is also what allows us to live on earth the sun is also what what allow us to live on earth without the sun there would be no heat around the sun they would be no heat. There would be no light. There would be no light. Plants could not grow. Land could not grow. Water would freeze. Water would freeze. And nothing could survive. And nothing could survive. The sun gives us heat and light because it is always burning. The sun gives us, gives us heat and light because it it is always burning. It is a giant ball of gas. It is a giant ball of gas. Mostly hydrogen and helium. Mostly hydrogen and helium. And it burns at millions of degrees in its center. And it burns at millions of degrees in its center. Let's leave the sun now to explore the planets. Let's leave the sun now to explore the planets. As we move away from the sun, the first planet we will encounter is Mercury. As we move away the sun, away from the sun, the first planet we will encounter is Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system. Mercury is a small than it in the solar system. Much smaller than Earth. Much smaller than Earth. And one of only five planets you can see from Earth using nothing but your eyes. You can see and and one of only five planets. You can see from Earth you see nothing but your eyes. Your eyes. Of course, it won't look much like a planet. Nice. It look more looks more like a bright star and many nice to you can see it close the horizon near sunrise and sunset. Horizon near sunrise and sunset. Mercury is a lot like our moon. Mercury is a look like a lot like our moon. It's small and has a rocky surface with craters on it. It's small and has a rocky soft surface crater on it. It has no moon of its own and no air to breathe. <coughs> it had no moon. Of its honor and no air to breathe. You probably wouldn't enjoy a visit to Mercury. You probably wouldn't enjoy, enjoy a visit to Mercury. Since temperatures are boiling hot in the sun and, and freezing cold in the shade. Since temperature are boil, boiling hot in the sun and freezing in the shit. Something interesting about Mercury.